Man, thinking Pain just stayed bottom. They could have taken that tower, but here we go. They're going in. Medusa's going to get solo stun. Tavo's here. He's going to get snowballed on, so he won't be able to get the black hole up. Here comes the ulti from Panda. It's going to pop off. Hitagi's already dead. Disruptor couldn't do too much. HFM with that double damaging sword. Whoa. The black hole hits onto two of them, and they're in a lot of trouble. This is going to be a four, possibly five. Or not. Nope. Welcome to Disruptor Gaming, but King RD, he's going to try to help him out. He does have one Spirit Siphon on, ultied out. He throws out a Silence, doesn't have another Spirit Siphon. Maybe had a chance of winning if he did, but now King RD in a little bit of trouble. Has a stun. In comes Gyro again. Nice double stun by King RD. He hasn't even died yet. And now, uh-oh, the Queen of Pain is going to go down. And King RD, this is why people hype this guy up. You see Baru <laughs> hiding in the tree, still left side. He's ready. Duster in a little bit of a bad position. Oh, Silence comes out. Can they somehow bring this panda down? It looks like they can. What a nice Silence by arms there. So you trade... Well, it looked like it was just Duster being out of position, but hey, you're, you're going to trade that for a panda. Ulti flies from the Queen Pain. HFN actually very low. There's the Black Hole. It's only on the Medusa, but what can you do to stop it? On the backside, King RD finds two with his ulti. He just solo killed two people, and I have a feeling we are about to see the game there. It is called an... I don't know, that just felt like the, the King RD HFN show. They might... Tavo? He's gonna, gonna split immediately on the backside. Here comes King RD now. He's gonna get slept though, and a BKB does get popped by arm. He's gonna instantly blow up King RD on the backside. Hitagi does go down to one for one. Buyback coming now from King RD. A throw up on this Tide Hunter. They're just swinging, and this Death Prop's gonna go down. Oh, the Yule's up in the air. Ravage hits on to three of them. They will bring down arms, and now... Only two supports dead on the side of Rock. Why would they lose the egg as King RD's ulti will be wasted? A buyback now coming from the Tusk. Stun flies. Can they bring anyone else down? HFN's killing a ton of people on the backside. And uh-oh, Jintoki taking so much damage. But they're going to go instead for the Shadow Fiend because they know the Aegis isn't there. They're going to pop out the dust. And there he goes. HFN, is he going to get a Rampage? What, what is happening? I, I, I said that Lifestealer has a ton of damage, but I didn't expect him to give this man a rampage. And, and they're thinking about it. Roger moves forward. Just punching Duster underneath the tower. Damage. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was he doing? This is uh, well, the sleep is going to come out, though, and now they're going to have the fissure when they come and wake up, but are they going to be able to keep that DP alive? No! Also, don't block them off closer to the tower. ILTW going to be slowed down, though, by the Chilling Touch. And with all that right-click coming in, they take down the Viper. Stomp on this uh, Gyrocopter. He has 138 damage right now. They also have the Earthshaker coming in, though, from behind. So they need to get this kill quickly. Unfortunately, it's looking like that might not be the case. The Stomp, but they also have the Fissure to break it. Roger trying to run. They've got vision. The turnaround, the purification is pretty significant. But Roger, again, going to fall. And bottom lane, they go forward for Tavo now going to try and use the Sprout to run away, and it actually is going to work. He gets out. He's already out level three for Lycan. He's going back for the AC now. Ice Blast out. They're walking forward for this one. The Fissure is going to connect as well. Ramsey's taking a lot of damage. If they can manage to bring him down in time, they can maybe go in and steal the Aegis as well. Roger's alone. Roche is down so low, they're going to be able to steal this away. Paint Gaming pull a fast one and able to take it back. They get the Aegis. And now the block off with the Fissure. They got Pasha. ILTW is going to be able to get away. HFN maybe going a bit too deep with this one. He is going to possibly pay with his life. Although it's just the Aegis. Now can they find more of these kills? They got to get something more. King RD getting eaten up by those wolves. He's eventually going to die. Now ILTW turns on to Tavo. They're diving everywhere that they possibly can. Exorcism is worn off now. They do get the Pasha kill. And going to be able to find ILTW here as well. Turns the fight around. Yeah, I think S S Solo didn't have, uh, yeah, he didn't have like higher points in the brain steps, so he couldn't finish off the kill. Oh, nice play there as well. Tavo lifts and they just Omni Slash him. LTW taking a lot of damage. He might go down here if he's not careful. Fairy Fire is already there. The axes, they're almost able to get him. They pull him underneath the tower and ILTW is going to go down. Roger's going to fall. They do take down the Gyrocopter, but holy crap, a what? Walk forward. They get the jump instead. Again, it's on to the Juggernaut trying to run, but there's no Nowhere left to run. You are going down, mister. You so are too is the gyrocopter. They're doing a lot of damage there with the gyro, actually, but it's not enough. Impale onto everybody. 
Is oh, it the gonna hammer? be the meteor hammer? ILTW, they're actually making it work in spite of the doom. Oh, he's got so much healing coming in though, and now trying to run away. He's gonna pop the exorcism, but is he gonna die? Oh, Pops geez. the cheese. It was all an elaborate ploy of bait. He actually kills off the necro book though, and that means that he dies. I'm surprised how he died so quickly because the the juggernaut was already dead. Juggernaut didn't do anything, and he Spike died. Carapace. Finding more, Maledict is there. Team Russia falling apart. They're losing heroes left, right, and center, and that's the doom. That's who they needed to be able to control the juggernaut. Two if multiple they multiple heroes into the media hammer, just winning them that important, so important team fight. They've got the healing war down. LTW is going to silence, but that doesn't stop the right clicks. Ramsey rums forward. He tries to isolate and kill him off, but now the Omni Slash is out. It's not doing quite enough damage as of yet, but there's the roar. Extra bits of damage coming in. The team is there. The snowball save from Roger might be enough. What they need, is it going to happen? Ramsey's trying to man up. The call down is there. They're not going to be able to do it. GG. Troll goes down. DP goes down. Pain Gaming. From the jaws of defeat, Pain Gaming sneak one away from Russia. Oh, he has not been getting a break, yeah? Can Always he get out of this? There's he a hasted charges. troll incoming. Run away the other way. Oh, he juked! He juked to the side. The rest of the team is coming in. If he can wait a little bit while longer, he's up there on the high That's ground. So. They're looking for the turnaround, and King RD finds the stun. There's the catch with the shards. He's caught. Ramsey's in trouble. They got the Viper Strike as well. They're going to glimpse him back in, take big, him big back kill. down. Tavo with the bait. And now the shards, they oh, wrap it, ILTW! King RD makes it happen yet again. And they're gonna be able to find a double for this Viper. Tavo, he's oh, hit. he wants to, <laughs> so he just wanted to ward. He's probably typing to his team. No, no, what are you talking about, typing?